but there's a wake-up call at the end of it in the form of turn one at 170 miles an hour like threading the eye of a needle turn two you can ignore because Estoril turn three is immediately in front of you you have to have two bites at it and hope you've got enough space on the exit now just easy along the straight to over 190 miles an hour choosing a breaking point from the boards on the left hand side for the Adelaide hairpin just 40 miles an hour. Alonso brings the car in very early. Traction is superb. That's one of the two overtaking places out of the way. This is most certainly not one of them ahead. The Nürburgring chicane, 135 miles an hour. Incredible direction change. Now the tricky 180 corner. He's locked the rest of this lap. The unsighted Imola chicane sweeping downhill again, 135 miles an hour. Wonderful grip on the top. Bring it immediately to the left for the tighter Chateau d'Eau. The car is working wonderfully now, heading downhill, building up to 170 miles an hour into the second of the overtaking opportunities. It's a big stop into Lise, 70 miles an hour. That's good exit speed. Now he's just got to animal these curbs, hard on the throttle, start-finish line immediately ahead of him, pole the third of his career.